Pisces, Pisces singles. Welcome to your love reading today. I'm really happy you're here. Thank you for joining me. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Be sure to check your chart for what else is in there. Also, hello, cross watchers. If you're watching for your person or a person, sometimes you're going to find that you resonate <laughs> more than you do maybe for the person you're watching for. So that's totally normal and okay. This is a general reading, guys, so please take what resonates, throw away the rest. Not everything is going to resonate. Could just be a totem that has been pulled, um, one message, a picture on a card. Speaking of, I pulled an overall energy totem for you, and you got the tree of life with a heart. And now the tree of life is all about growth and like experiencing new things. And, you know, a tree grows from the from the very bottom, from the roots up, and the branches go up. And there's a heart in this particular tree of life. So this is already telling me that either something is already beginning for you or something will be beginning. And this is about love. <laughs> so that's perfect because this is your love reading. Thank you, spirit guides and angels. What can you tell me about energy for our Pisces singles today? It's going to get going. Wow, look at already. We have the Ten of Cups, you guys. Woohoo! Let me move this a little bit just so that I can make sure I all the cards can be laid down because I never leave myself enough space. <laughs> yeah, okay, so um, looks like you're heading for some pretty big love here, Pisces. Wow, that's an intense card to come out right away. And it could be also centered around family. So it could be somebody that, um, we'll put it this way, it could be somebody that you maybe have known for a long time or a family friend, somebody that you bump into at a gathering. And for some of you, it could be um, that you're reuniting with someone. And for others, you're reuniting, but you're reuniting with a person that you might even have children with already. So take that as it resonates. That won't be for everybody. But I also see here that many of you are wanting to start a family. And it looks like this love that's coming, look at this. This is like the very start of your reading here. You know, here's the, here are two people here, and there, look, there's a nest here. So I do believe that some of you um, are wanting everything, and you've been manifesting it. I wouldn't be surprised if the Magician card pops up here. You know, you have the Tree of Life with a heart, and now we're already starting with the Ten of Cups. And look at the abundance too, the rainbows, the flowers, the sunflowers. There's like, you know, it's really all about family and contentment. So this could really, like I said, mean a lot of things depending on you because this is a general reading, but I feel it coming through that. For some of you, you're going to be meeting this person that you're going to be starting a family with. And for others, you're going to meet somebody at a um family event or something like that. But really, I just, I feel like a lot of you are wanting to have everything. Here we go. Let's, okay. So quite a few came out here, so I'm going to take them. So we have, wow, yeah, look, we have the Knight of Cups here. Uh, more cups. This is Princess or Prince Charming. Romance. Yeah, that's what's happening for you, Pisces. And we have the Ace of Wands here. <laughs> okay, I just have to say to you, okay, you could probably already see this here, Eight of Pentacles, we'll, we'll lay this down. Okay, and I'll get to it in a minute. So it does look like some of you might be really um, busy working. So I do wanna say right away that, you know, message from Spirit here, you know, lift up your head a little from the computer or whatever it is you're doing. Make sure you're taking the time out to go to any events and whatnot, or just to be available because somebody is coming in. And the reason I giggled for the Ace of Wands is it's kind of like about creating something new. And this is a love reading. And as I said, um, 
I do feel for many of you that you're really looking to begin a family or possibly reconnect with someone that you have a family with. Um, but I think for a lot of you, you really are wanting to start a family. And remember, there is no gender in, tar in tarot. So this could be you wanting to find someone to start a family with um, regardless. And that could be, you know, what, however that resonates for you, whether that's um, adopting or whether, um, you know, you want to, you want to get pregnant or you want to get to, you want to find somebody and, and marry them and whatever it is. Okay. Take that as it resonates. And I know you know what I'm saying here because love comes in, well, every single, um, imaginable way possible. That didn't even make sense. <laughs> I'm not even making sense. I know you know what I'm trying to say here, that love comes in all shapes and sizes and forms and situations. That's what I want to say, okay? Um, so this doesn't have to just be about, you know, fertility and having babies. This could be about adopting. This could be about getting together with someone and getting animals, really, truly. You know, getting together and having a, a garden. But I can tell you right now that, that you're here and for many of you, that is what you're feeling. You want to partner up with someone and start something. And somebody is coming, Pisces, that's very, very, very clear. And they want the same thing. The, yeah, you guys want the same things here. Now, the thing about the Eight of Pentacles is I feel like you've been working really hard. Um, which is great, but you're going to need to take some time for your love life, especially if you want the whole shebang, which I think you do. And it could also be for some of you that you're going to have this, um, you could be going into, it could be for some of you that this partner, maybe you're reconnecting with or somebody new, really strong here, that you're going to go into business with them. So take that as it resonates. But wow, that's pretty amazing. Really, just right off the bat here. These cards are a little slippery today, so I want to be sure I'm getting what is meant for you. Thank you, spirit guides and angels. Can you please give me, so there we go, some more cards here for Pisces. Now, quite a few came out, so I'm just going to try to fit them in here. I don't always do that, but this came in a way that uh, just feels right for you. Okay, very interesting. The Justice card. So yeah. Could also be that for some of you, this has to do with money, that you might be expecting some money. Now this is a love reading, but it can come through. This could be tied to somebody in your past too, because there's some emotional energy surrounding this um, this money, this situation here. But this is the Justice card. And this is also Libra energy. So this could be somebody in your past, Pisces. Or somebody, could even be somebody coming, but I feel like this is somebody in your past. And it could even be for some of you that there was some money from uh, a, a divorce. Take that as it resonates. That will not be for everybody. Yeah, very interesting. And for some of you, if you're going to be getting back with someone, you might need to move past something with them first. You might have to, um, yeah, because with the Justice card, it could be that you're waiting to hear from them and there are maybe there might have been some dishonesty or infidelity. You know, take that as it resonates. I don't, I don't know, but I see this here. So for some of you, I feel like you might be wanting to get back with someone, but you guys need to work something out first. And for others, I feel like you could have some money coming to you because we do have the Eight of Pentacles, although I feel like this is really you just working a lot, Pisces. You know, you're a hard worker and I feel like you're working hard, but your mind is not totally on, <laughs> on your pentacles. It's almost like this is your fantasy up here. I really feel like uh, most of you and many of you want to settle down and find that person. Okay, so this was another card that came roaring out, the Ace of Cups. There we go again. So, okay, not only is this about um, a possible new relationship or even a proposal or some type of offer, which we also have with the Knight of Cups here, but this can also be about a baby. And like I said, you have this, 
you're really wanting to, to create something. And as I felt in the beginning that some of you really want to have everything and some of you want to have children or even want to just maybe for some of you, you could also be at the really early stages of something and you're, you're feeling like this person um, is your, the person for you and you want to grow something with them and, and could be even you just want to get some animals together, <laughs> you know, but and for some of you, you, you might be starting going into business with them. Very interesting. Or you could have even come out of business with somebody that you were romantically partnered with. Take that as it resonates. But this is pretty strong. Pisces this is amazing having the ten of cups and the knight of cups and you know the ace of sword or excuse me wands and then right below the knight of cups you have the ace of cups it's like super intense and this person that you're going to have this with or that you're looking for it looks like it's going to be a really strong connection and also really passionate so this urge you have possibly to um if it is to create babies, <laughs> which can also be about the Ace of Cups, that, yeah, there's going to be a lot of passion around that. So <laughs> make sure you know how many you want. <laughs> okay, um, now we also have the Queen of Swords. Well, that's interesting. So, yeah, this could be for some of you tied to this person that I feel like you, um, that for those of you that might be wanting to reconnect with someone or somebody's coming back that you want some sort of justice with them. You want some, some, you know, to talk about what has happened in the past and to lay it out on the table. Because if you're going to move forward with somebody from the past, you're going to need to clear that up first, especially if you're wanting to take the next step. Could be that for some of you, you separated and you've been single and that, you know, you're really wanting them to come back or they're coming back. But for most of you, I really feel like that this is a new person and it's a new chance for a start here. And it's a chance for everything, which I think obviously for, for some of you, that is what you want. That's right here on the table. Wow, that's really interesting. I also feel like that this is you, Pisces. Like I said, you've been working really super hard. You know, and um, you might also be getting kind of sick of that. You know, you might like be ready to combine everything, love, house, money with somebody. You know, that's another thing about money when it comes up in a love reading. Um, it could be tied to it. It could also just be your hopes. I do feel like you're working a lot, but I also feel like for some of you, you've just kind of, you, you want to um, partner up with somebody in that way as well. And look. Also, whoops, excuse me. Why does everything keep wiggling away? Stop wiggling. <laughs> okay, so the Queen of Wands. Wow, yeah. Um, now, we already know that you're really feeling um, some, there's some strong energy coming from you, Pisces. But this could also be the person that's coming toward you. Now, there could be somebody already around trying to get the strength. It could be both of you. Now, if this is talking about somebody from the past, you're both wanting it, but you're both being stubborn about it, okay? And trying to get the courage, <clears throat> excuse me. And if this is something new for a lot of you, I just feel like that the energy is just, um, I really feel like you are ready to go for it. And the person that's going to come for you is ready to go for it, too. There's really strong energy, really passionate energy here, a lot of emotions. So there's a lot of love, whether it's somebody that you're reconnecting with or somebody new. Okay, yeah, so this is, I'm, I'm reading to you now the cards that had come that I do believe belong to you. Um, we have the Six of Swords here, and I do feel like uh, for some of you, um, could be, it could be that you had to relocate or that you might even have to move. And it could be for some of you that that's where you meet your person. Very interesting. Or I want to say to you, it looks like for some of you, there's two things going on here. That there it might be someone from the past where it was tumultuous and you need to work these things out in order to come back together. But it could also be something long distance. And uh, for some of you, you know, there's the water you know, take it as it resonates because on, on some level it looks tumultuous. On, another, on the other hand, it's beautiful. So I do feel like um, 
it could be that for some of you, you have something new going on and you want to take it to the next level, but it will, will require somebody relocating. So take that as it resonates. This will not resonate for everyone. All right, so now there's the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, I really do feel like you're working your your booty off, Pisces. And, um, and I also think that this person... Um, that you guys, you really might end up going into business with, with your person. If you haven't started that already with somebody new, this could also mean that there's somebody that you're working with and you might be spending a lot of time with them and they, they could turn out to be your person and you may or may not know. And for some of you, um, you might be trying to get the courage and may not know that they're trying to get the courage to come to you. So that's another thing about the pentacles. I do feel like you're working hard, but I also feel like for some of you that this could be tied to romance for you, for this person that wants to come in here and have this 10 of cups with you and this this tree of life, you know, and this and create and have a life together. But I see that here that's very strong here in this reading. And look, and we have the 6 of wands. So yeah, there's there's some a happy ending here and I feel like for some of you especially for anyone that's um, starting something really new or in the early stages or somebody from the past that there will be some message messages coming that could be by voicemail or email whatever take that as it resonates do people even email anymore <laughs> I have a really old Yahoo account and sometimes I look at it and it's like 30,000 messages <laughs> Of course, that's not my um, normal business account, but um, it's a really old account. But still, I feel like it's kind of antiquated, isn't it? So this could be an SMS, uh, Messenger, WhatsApp, whatever. Take that as it resonates. Could even be that you meet somebody um, or you've just met somebody and they're going to be uh, messaging you soon. But the thing about the Six of Wands, also we have the reunion wreath here, which also is a celebration. So like I said, it could be for some of you that you're reuniting. It could be with a love that you want to reunite with. It could be somebody from your childhood starting, you know, that you are striking up a romance with. Or it could be that you're going to some type of celebration and you're going to meet somebody. Um, but there are a lot of people involved. Look. So however these messages come to you, it's somebody that you might also share friends or maybe they're through your family. Like I said, maybe through some type of event. But they're, they're going to be messaging you either um, really soon after uh, or right after. But this is usually the so a sign of like kind of something happening fast and sort of winning something too. So it could be that you kind of win somebody over. And the last card for you is the Three of Cups. Well, that's interesting. Um, and that's exactly what we're talking about. This is about celebrations and also friendships. So I really feel like for some of you, you might have a friendship with someone at work. You might have been friends with somebody in your childhood or in your circle of friends. And this is going to be where you come together with this person on a romantic level through meeting with friends, through going to some type of gathering, possibly um, maybe having a, a drink or a coffee, whatever, after work with somebody you're working with. But it, there's a lot of emotion here. It's going to be a deep connection, or it was one and will be again if this is someone you're reconnecting with. But I feel like for a lot of you, it's a new love. And it's the everything love. It's like everything that you want. I mean, and look at how many wreaths um, are here on the table. You know, there's there's definitely some celebrating that's going to be going on if it's not happening already. And there's love on the table. There's new love on the table. There's possibly love coming from the past. And that's going to be up to you if it was anything toxic that you have had to move on from. So take that as it resonates. Um, let me just get a... Let me just check this here. Hi, Pisces. Sorry about that. Okay, where were we? So now we were looking at your deck here and look. We have the Wheel of Fortune. 
So yeah, this is some really strong love that's coming in. And this is also about um, having the courage. And I feel like that this is tied into the Queen of Wands here. So for some of you, this is going to be about uh, going, like starting something with somebody that you maybe have a crush on or also the same for them. But either way, this is a good outcome for you. This is the Wheel of Fortune. So things are, um, and you know, one of the things about the Wheel of Fortune is it's, it's also kind of like, well, it's not, it could be like gambling, gambling, but just gambling in a sense. And I feel like for some of you that it's like you're gonna take a chance on a person. And it could also be that they're gonna take a chance on you. And like I said, this could be someone you're working with or that you know in your friendship circles. I mean, look at that. With the Three of Cups here, that's what this is about. You know, this is like um, parties with your friends and celebrations and just people that you are really close to. So it could even be that one of your friends that you're really close to, that, that they have stronger feelings for you or you have them for them or you both have them. But the, I mean, look at this. You have the Ten of Cups here. You have the, the Knight of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Three of Cups. I mean, things are looking good for you, Pisces. I'm not going to lift that up. And look what else we have. Um, is that the Three of Cups again? Why do I feel like I was just... Okay, my, my brain is turning to mush. Yeah, wait a second. There we are. Okay. <laughs> yeah, there's the Three of Cups again. Okay, that's confirmation, Pisces. So I want to say to you, um, I'm hearing this very loud, it's like screaming practically at me to tell you, make sure you're going to um, meet with your friends and go to these gatherings and just, you know, taking your time away from work and going for that coffee or whatever it is, because there is love there somewhere. And it looks like it could be this summer. It's really strong. And this is a confirmation of that. I'm, I'm sitting here talking about the Three of Cups with you about, you know, looking into your circle of friends and your support system and people that you care about and going to gatherings and here is here it is again so that's a huge confirmation let's look at the six of wands here just out of curiosity what does spirit have for you <laughs> because we see good news coming i see um a message possibly after you meet this person or reconnect with somebody that maybe or just seeing an old friend that you see in a different way or they're seeing you in a different way. Okay, there's two here. Whoops. All right, first of all, we have the Page of Swords and I think we had that on here already, didn't we? Um, okay, so the Page of Swords is telling me, yeah, so there we go again. There's you know, a new, something new beginning. And also, what else was here? Here we go. We did we have the Queen of Swords too? Look, the Queen of Swords again as well. Wow, that's really interesting. Okay, so I think for some of you, um, whether if this is going to be someone from the past, you're definitely going to have to get through something because look, we have this and uh, co confirming again, we have the Queen of Swords again here. Um, but I also feel like for some of you that the person that you're going to be connecting with, especially if they were somebody that you've had a really strong friendship with or you've known for years, that there's just going to be a really strong bond with a lot of, of um, loyalty and trust, um, deep and passionate, emotional, kind of everything. And I know that's what you're after, Pisces, who they can see it here on the table. Let's just confirm this again, this Queen of Swords. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and I really do feel like you're working, you're, you're working really hard. You know, and you've been working on yourself as well. Because you really are wanting to um, have everything. Tell us a little bit more. Why is the Queen of Swords here twice? Here we go. This came flying out. Oh, interesting. So the Nine of Wands. Um, yeah. So now with the Queen of Swords, 
Yeah, it could be for some of you. Now, this is only this is going to be a special message to some of you, but when we talked about this energy here with the justice card and this possible um person that you you weren't able to let go of, excuse me, or you know, that you were tied up with that you might be that might be coming back into your life. This is a message from spirit for you. This is the 9 of wands to um keep your, you know, um some healthy boundaries for yourself. And like we talked about earlier, knowing what you want and knowing what you've been through and what you're looking for now. So if somebody's coming back for you here, we have the Six of Swords and the Justice card. You just want to um, pay attention to what it is you want or any red flags that you feel like maybe you didn't pay attention to last time. This could also be for someone new, but I really feel like that this is just more about the past and that's not going to resonate for everyone here because really what I'm seeing here is just some kind of a big love that's like waiting, you know, that's it's somebody maybe that you know or just somebody in your circle somehow connected like the six degrees of separation somehow through an event, through a friendship circle, through work, that sort of thing. I don't see it as something just, oh, joining a, a group and meeting someone, you know, joining something and somebody new in that way. It's almost like, um, yeah, it's somebody new, but it's somebody uh, connected through all this. And for some of you, it will be someone you do know, but it's a new love for you. And for some of you, just, you know, it, it might even be a really small percentage of you, but for some of you, you need to hear this message just to keep your, your guard up for any um, past energies that might be coming in um, that you're not welcoming, okay? And look, as I, I just wanted to show you this, um, as I was about to put it down, look what was at the bottom of the deck. There we go again, look. There's the Ten of Cups again. So yeah, um, you're, <laughs> you've definitely got love coming for you, Pisces, and it's the whole thing. Okay, but remember, whatever your outcome is going to be is up to you. It's, it depends on how you, um, what decisions you make. Okay, this outcome, this, um, this future that you um, are wanting, that you've been possibly manifesting and definitely thinking about, it's based on the choices that you make. So take care of yourself. Make sure that you're making time for your creative pursuits, your friendships, celebrations, you know, um, alongside your work, you know, find some time for that because I can see that you've really been working hard, but I also see that you have love coming for you, coming into your life in some way, um, and it's going to be big, um, but you also need to um, make yourself available is what I want to say, both physically and emotionally, you know, like just stepping away from the computer, getting out. I'm going to read a whoops, Zodiac Moon card for you. Here we go. Shine brightly like the star you are. Eclipse in Leo. Compassion. Yeah, you know, I really feel like... Um, where was that card here? I don't know where that went. But I really do feel like you are going to be shining right now, Pisces. You already are in your work life, I can see that. And romantically, you want to as well. Um, but you need to get yourself out of there, okay? Um, let me pull another totem for you. So this is your totem box. I don't look because I don't like to be influenced. So there's like all different sizes in here. Okay, so I have a little handful for you. All right, well, first up, we have a guitar. So right off the bat, you could be a musician, your person could be a musician. But the other thing about a guitar is it's about peace and harmony. So for me, for you, I feel like this is about you creating some harmony with somebody. And for others, um, or even everybody, you might need to make some peace with somebody here. I do see that. And it doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to uh, take them back because I really feel like there's something new for you Pisces, but you might need to make some peace with somebody Okay, so that's really what this is about peace and harmony um, when you it could be about music as well 
but uh, for sure. But I feel like that you just need to make some kind of peace with someone. It could even be yourself. Maybe you're just hanging on to something or wanting to be right or feeling like you were wronged. And maybe it's time to let that go. So take that as it resonates, okay? And look, you also have an elephant totem and that is about being strong, but it's also about your friends and people around you being strong for you as well and supporting you. And an elephant can kind of like push its way through a crowd. And this is also, hi Pisces. Well, <laughs> today is one of those days. I just had to, um, get a delivery at the door, so sorry about that. What I was saying about the elephant is, I also, A, I feel like this is about having support around you, um, but I also wanted to say the elephant has a great memory. And I think this is tied into also you, what we were just talking about, it's another confirmation from spirit. For you to, let me breathe, I was just running up the stairs. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, I'm ready. But I really feel like um, that this also ties into the, the um, needing to make peace. Needing to make peace with someone. Because it could be to just making this peace and putting something to bed for you is what's going to open you up for this new love coming. Because it, it's really all over the table here. And I do feel like the elephant is a bit about that. Because an elephant has a great memory, which is wonderful. But if you're hanging on to something that's not serving you, it might be time to let it go. So that's a message from Spirit for you. And now we have also have a maple leaf here. So for some of you, you could be even be Canadian. Take that as it resonates. But it also looks like that this change for you could be coming anytime between now, like the summer and the fall. And also the leaf is about change. It's a lot like the, the tree of life here. So we do see that there's going to be a really big change for you in your love life. It's coming for you. And the question is, are you going to make yourself available? Because you are working really hard, Pisces. I can see that here. Okay. Um, and look, you also got an alligator, which is about channeling your inner strength as well. So this is um, obviously an alligator and not an elephant or a lion. But I do feel like that this is about you being strong because some of you will need to move past something. But also just getting yourself out there again. And look, your last totem is a bird. And some people consider a bird a message from God. So take that as it resonates. God, goddess, your um, spirit, um, guides, angels, however that resonates for you. But this message is meant for you today. Love is coming and it's really coming in a big way. There's a lot coming for you, Pisces. But make sure you're taking care of yourself. Making, make sure you're taking some time away from work and saying yes to those invitations with your friends, you know, because that's where it could be. It's definitely here. Um, I can feel it. It's very strong for you. So that's your reading today, Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me. I wish you well. Please take good care of yourselves. I'll see you next time. Bye.